So how do we keep from falling into this, this middle ground temptation? Well, I think, again, we can acknowledge that there are places where compromise is okay and it's not a bad thing. Um, you know, like, um, oh, you know, what do, what do you want to eat for dinner? Well, I really want to, I really need to eat some salad because I've been at conferences all week eating really Taco. unhealthy. Right. Right. Okay. So like, that is something obviously. That Taco is salad. Good. Taco salad. Oh, there you go. So we can find a compromise in that. And that is not something that is um, wrong or unjust or, or breaking a commandment or anything like that. So uh, acknowledge when we're talking about something that, um, can have an object, I mean, have actual objective truth to it. Um, you know, like should babies be baptized and where do we go to find out whether they can be or not, right? We can, we can look at, at scripture. Um, those are things that are going to, we're going to be able to hold to an objective reality and objective truth. Um, and, uh, and I think that's really important is to kind of zoom out on it and look at what type of, um, what type of argument we're having, what type of thing we're talking about. Yeah. So, I, I mean, maybe then you, you mentioned uh, that that distinction between uh, objective truth and sort of how to deal with it. And that might be helpful, too. So we we don't compromise on true up is up, down is down. Christ is risen from the grave. None of these things are, are things that we, we let go of. But how we make do with that in this world, then, is, is, is where you might start to see middle grounds and compromises. So we believe that babies should be baptized. We, we believe this. Now, does yes. that mean in the hospital as soon as they're born or in church the next Sunday or as soon as we can convince their parents? You see here, there's there's places to discuss, but we're not in any of the cases abandoning our, our objective truth that babies need baptism because, well, the wages of sin is death and babies can die. Lord have mercy. We want to give them life because first Peter tells us baptism now saves. So we're willing to sort of find a middle ground to get babies to the font, but we're not willing to, to um, have a middle ground on our beliefs, just the way that we have to get to practicing them because this world doesn't work the way that it should. In That's a perfect right. world, you're right. There would be no compromise because everybody would just believe like me because I'm right about everything. I'm sure of it. Um, but if you, can actually, if you can actually point to the scriptures and find your objective truth, that doesn't get yielded, not an inch, but how to, right. to go about dealing with that in this world takes grace. And, and that's a different thing. And time and time. Sometimes if you're, if you're arguing some of these things that are difficult, because this world is not going to receive those sort of objective truths um, kindly necessarily. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we can't be kind and loving and careful and full of grace when we approach, approach our neighbor. We can do that. We can. Yeah, we talk about this a lot, actually. This is the difference between helping and winning. And, and like That's winning, right. you're like, there's no middle ground in winning because I'm going to win. Um, Winning's fun. Helping, <laughs> helping, it almost sounds like you're working towards the middle, but in reality, you're just, you're slow playing, getting somebody to where they need to be to be right. Um, yeah. it, it's not about you being right and, and you winning an argument. It's about working with them as, as patiently and lovingly as you can to show them what help looks like, what, what, what good looks like, what beauty is, where comfort is. That's right. We're going to point to the cross. Awesome. Yep. Anything else? I think about we did it. I think we got oh, it. I think we. Yeah. All right. I'm willing right. to agree with you halfway. <laughs> I see what you did there. Clever. Clever. Points to you this time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>